Hey, Fragrance family, I'm Daver. And I'm Jer. And we're the Fragrance Bros. <laughs> Come at you again with another Hermescence line fragrance review, this time on Iris Ukiyo-e. Uh, let's see what Jean-Claude Elena has to say to kick it off. He says, I collect plants. I collect plants. <laughs> and have a mental picture of irises in the floating world. The Ukiyo-e in Japanese, apparently that's how it's, that's what it translates as. In the works of Hokusai or Hiroshige. They inspired me when I was writing this divertimento, I don't know what word that is, based on floral iris. Like <laughs> based on floral iris. I felt like foiling the classic approach to iris by working on the flower's fragrances, which are virtually unknown. Foiling the plan. The perfume is delicate, but very much there, shifting between roses, orange blossom, and mandarin. Yeah. All expressed by small, impressionistic touches. Let's see. Date introduced is 2010, fairly recently. Mm -hmm. Classified as a floral. Notes are iris, mandarin orange, African orange flower, and rose. What did you get out of longevity out of this? Uh, average to poor. Yeah. It didn't last. I got poor. Yeah. What about projection? Average to poor. I got average. Yeah. Yay. It's not that great. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Season, I would say this is best for spring and summer and daytime. Yeah. Uh, see, purpose, I would say this is best for probably casual, but could also use in a work situation. Yeah. And what would you say this reminds you of? Um, it reminds me a lot of like a bouquet of flowers. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is there's like a waxy quality here to mm -hmm. me. Um, I don't know if that's the nature of iris or what, because I've seen iris in a lot of different applications and it's... It's different almost every time, mm -hmm. so I don't even know anymore what the norm is. But it's like, it's almost like someone has a bouquet of flowers, like fake flowers, but they sprayed some floral spray on it to make it smell like it was real flowers. That's the feeling I get. Mm. It's very weird. It's very sort of airy, uh, airy and transparent. So if, if fragrances are paintings, this is like a stained glass window or something. You know what I mean? Like you, you can see through it, it's kind of transparent, but it's very light. Yeah. And it's very floral and um, to be honest, a little uninteresting to me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I think, you know, you kind of get everything that, 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 that is mentioned in the notes. Yeah. Again, this is another simple fragrance, I think. Um, but also, again, I don't really get much iris in this. Yeah. I think it's, I mean, it's there. Yeah. But it's not like the main star. Well, like he, wanted, think he, would he wanted to foil the traditional use. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, foiled. he did. Mm. He did. And what you get is a is a very very natural uh, floral smell. Mm -hmm. it smells like freshly cut. Uh, to me, it smells like freshly cut flowers. Yeah, it does. It's very very green, mm -hmm. and uh, has a little bit of citrus zing on there, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, but really, I don't really get much else other than that too. There's not really much to say about this. There really isn't. It's about it. It's it's a citrusy flower bouquet. It's, yeah. You know. Unfortunately, again, this is uh, this is kind of a big dud. To me, no. just because it's kind of uninteresting. It's another floral fragrance, but I don't really see it as very good. Yeah, I don't. I can't imagine this being like sought after. Yeah, like you're walking down your collection, you're thinking, "Today I'm wearing this." Right. Like, why? Like, what was the what was the goal of this? I don't know. Yeah. Maybe again, this might be for an Asian audience. Maybe so. Could be. Yeah. I'm not really sure. It's another light fragrance mm -hmm. uh, with an Asian slant. Clearly, an Asian slant because it's Japanese. Yeah. Uh, and that, I'm not really sure. But yeah, sure. Could be what they're going for. This American. Yeah. American. American. <laughs> doesn't really care for it. Yeah, me either. So, I mean, I, I should say it's not bad, but yeah, I don't really think it's good. I don't even like it on my wife. It's just not, you know, I need more than this. Right. You know, it's unfulfilling. Which leads me to bang for buck, two thirty-five yeah. for this. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's worth it for that at all. No, I wouldn't buy this. There are other floral fragrances done far. I don't want to say done better because it's not like this is done poorly. It's just not very interesting. Yeah, you know what I mean. There are more interesting floral fragrances out there for much cheaper. Yeah, how about that? Very true. Yeah. Uh, what about compliments? Uh, no, it's uh, again. I'm sure it the same thing. It just kind of smelled feminine and and eh. You know, yeah. So I don't have any use for it, and, and Stephanie didn't really care for it either. So yeah, I do think this is better, probably better on a woman too. Totally. Like you know, like you just said. Yeah. <laughs> My wife thought it smelled girly on me and didn't really ca didn't really care for it, and she didn't really care for it for her either. Good so, woman. yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see final rating. I'm gonna give it a three out of five. There's nothing wrong with it. It's right. just not very interesting. 
Um, I think it's uh, actually a, a fairly good smelling floral fragrance yeah. uh, on the feminine side of things. But because it doesn't really do anything interesting and because it is priced so highly, I really just, I think it's kind of, like you said, a disappointment, kind of a dud. Yeah. So I am not in a big fan. Yeah, I agree. I'm going to also give it a three out of five. I didn't really care for it, like I said, but it's not bad. It's actually pretty nice. For those who really like uber natural fragrances, mm -hmm. may really like this. Yeah. And especially those who like kind of like a fresh floral Almost like out of a florist shop. Yes. They might like that a lot. Totally. So, but I don't really care for that. Yeah. So, just me. Floor shop. Yeah, floor shop. Good job. <laughs> totally. Yeah. You're right, man. Inception. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> what do you think of Iris Ukiyoe? Do you like it, love it, hate it? What do you think? Let us know down in the comments down below. And of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and like down below. We'll love you for it. We'll see you next week with our final. Fragrance from the Air Message line. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next week. We're the Fragrance Bros. Bye. Bye.